Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I got an email the other day and I'd like to share what I found in my email. It's telling me that uh, if I want to learn something about sex offenders, I can go in here and I can learn about the pedophiles, child molesters, everything that you need to know to protect your children. Are your kids safe from sex offenders or sex predators? This is something that we all need to know. But in this, how to identify, well, let's say how to identify sex predators in your area, click of a button. Here you can, um, to search their database, you just put in your zip code and hit the search button. But what happened if we can type in not just um, so, uh, zip code number, how about let's pick um, Jehovah Witnesses. Because we know in Australia, they hidden since 1950 to 2015 child molesters. What other sources could we use to identify child molesters in Jehovah's organization? Well, they should announce it on their JW Broadcasting when the a brother or elder is identified as a child molester. How come you don't hear this on JW Broadcast? How come old governing body Sam Samuel himself announced that we have a problem and we got to uh, let the brothers and sisters know around the community, Kingdom Halls, Circuit Assemblies, that we have identified a child molester, child predator. Or better yet, how come if they're afraid to announce it on the broadcast, shouldn't you be able to uh, find a child pr pr predator on JW.org? Well, Here's the thing you can see on the bottom. It's not there. Now they claim they love children. They take care of their own children. But they fail to let people know, even outside of Jehovah's Witnesses, who is a child predator. Because of these men, One of them, a while back ago, said uh, apostate lies saying that child predators is in our organization. But we love our children. But this man here, if you look at Jake, J-A, KKE control. 
you see Jeffrey Jackson admitted that there is a problem with elders being pedophiles, how they have to keep their two witness rule in program to protect elders from uh, ending up in um, jail, being on JW broadcast, or on um, JW.org, letting people know that they have problems of pedophiles. They won't even let the people in the congregation, the kingdom halls, when there is one inside the kingdom hall, they won't warn the parents of other children that this child pre predator, elder, ministerial servant, or regular Jehovah Witness got busted of being molesting or raping a child. So why is the governed bodies hiding all this? Protect their good name for their false god Jehovah. It's pretty sickening when you got a false religion serving a false god. Neither one in this organization protect the children. Because children is on the bottom of the uh, what you call the chain list of who you can step on the most and the children is on the bottom next to the women. I showed these pictures before. Elders. 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 Those elders should have been on this list. Because see, if you could put in your area where Kingdom Hall is, one of those guys should be popped up and you will recognize him. Someone could be at your door and you would recognize, whoops, this can't be God's organization because I just seen his picture in the database of a sex predator. And that's what these men are. I just showed you, sex predators. They go after one Jehovah Witness child or boy or girl and they go to another one till the elders have enough Proof. To their disfellowship them. And. If the guy was real. Repentant. He might get reinstated within the year. Or. Next year. And then he come back in. And start all over again. Because warning the police. So they could put this guy. On the search our database, you or nor Jehovah Witnesses will ever know those men are still moving around and doing their thing. And no one cares, not even the governing body. Cares about the young children. How much money these men is forking out out of Jehovah Witnesses' pockets when they think their money is going to New Kingdom Hall's preaching work and all it's going out of their own pockets to pay for the crimes of these men. And pay the child help fiscally, mentally, because 
these guys was allowed to destroy the lives of children. Innocent children that parents allow their own children to be alone, alone, alone with these men. So I blame the parents for being ignorant. I blame, blame the elders for not doing the job protecting the flock, protecting the children. I blame the governing body for allowing this tragic, ridiculous people like th these men to be among the people, not put them on a list, letting the world know who and what they are. People, it's time to be educated. It's time to wake up. To see the truth for yourself. Thank you. Have a nice day.